someone has rightly said love isn't about finding the perfect person it's about realizing that an imperfect person can make your life perfect welcome friends this is wisdom words and here is the story for today the name of the story is it's going to be all right now let's start the story Anna was 5 years old when her mother took her for a drive. They drove far from the city until they came to a big white church. Her mom said, "You wait right here baby and mama is going to be right back." Then her mother kissed her on the cheek and drove off. Anna sat down on the church steps. and waited for her mother but she didn't come back the sun was high and anna was feeling thirsty after some time the priest of the church saw anna what are you doing here in the sun i'm waiting for my mom anna explained after waiting for some time the priest took anna inside the church the whole day passed and it was getting dark and the priest was getting worried so he made a police call a police officer arrived and took anna away she kept saying that she had to stay because her mother was coming but no one listened She was taken to an orphanage. She was very angry and wouldn't talk to any of the other kids. "I'm not an orphan," she screamed. "I have a mom and she is coming back for me." None of the other children befriended Anna except for one boy. His name was Peter. Anna came to know that Peter had a weak heart. His heart didn't work properly which meant he couldn't run or play catch or do anything fun So Peter built paper planes He would sit on the staircase and see how far they would fly One day Peter saw Anna sitting at the bottom step crying He sent her the best plane It flew high before it softly floated down to land at Anna's feet she picked it up and saw there was something written on the wings it's going to be all right anna looked up to see where the plane came from and saw peter did you make this she asked him yes said peter i can't run so i make planes that can fly high Anna climbed up the stairs to give Peter back his plane and the two started chatting. They became best friends. Every time Anna had a bad day, somehow a plane would float out of nowhere and land on her desk or on her bed or at her feet and reminded her that everything is going to be all right. Years passed quickly and soon Anna was 18. Her plan was to go out and look for her mother. She went to the director and asked for any information she might have that would help her to find her mother. But the woman tried to discourage her. She said gently, "Anna, you have a big future ahead of you. Forget looking for your mother." Listening to this, Anna screamed. I know my mother is looking for me. She came back to the church and I was gone. It's all your fault. Anna ran out of the director's office and out into the garden crying. She was sitting there feeling angry and unhappy when a paper plane floated in and landed on her lap. She picked it up and crushed it in her fist. She screamed at Peter. Your stupid planes don't help me. I hate them and I hate you. 
थ्री डेज लेटर शी लेफ्ट द ऑफन एज इवन विदाउट सेइंग गुड बाय टू पीटर फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू इयर्स एन एक केप्ट लुकिंग फॉर हर मॉम एंड फाइनली आफ्टर मेनी एडवेंचर्स शी फाउंड हर इन अ ट्रेलर पार्क आउटसाइड द मेन सिटी एन आ वॉक अप टू हर मदर्स ट्रेलर एंड नॉकड ऑन द डोर एन ओल्ड वुमेन ओपन इट मॉम इट्स मी द ओल्ड लेडी गैस्ट What the hell are you doing here? Mom, I came looking for you, Anna said. I know you came back to the church and I was gone. The woman laughed harshly. Came back? Forget it. I had a new man in my life and he didn't want other men's kids. So I deliberately left you there. Anna couldn't believe it. Heartbroken She turned her back and ran away from there. 3 days later, she was back at the orphanage. She told the director about her journey and its bitter ending. I came back hoping to get in touch with Peter. Oh Anna, I'm so sorry. Peter's heart gave up just a few weeks after you left, said the director. Blinded by tears, Anna walked out and sat in the garden. For all these years, she had been running after a fantasy of her mother who didn't love her, when all along a true and loving heart had been always there by her side. "Oh, Peter, I'm so sorry," she whispered. And then something strange happened. A leaf floated down and landed on her lap. a bright yellow sunny leaf shaped exactly like one of peter's plane it looked as if peter sent a message to anna that everything gonna be all right so friends you will never find the right person if you can't let go the wrong one always remember the flower doesn't dream of the bee the flower blooms and the bee comes